Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. This is Mr. P and in this video I would like to talk to you about USB-C hub by the company called Ugreen. So let's begin. Before jumping into this video, I'd like to say a big thank you to a Samsung DeX subreddit member by the nickname Hey Look New, who arranged this USB-C hub to be sent to me. I've been using this hub for about four or five days, so obviously it's already been unboxed. Basically inside the box I found the user manual, the thank you card, and obviously the USB-C hub. The quality of this USB-C hub is very premium, it feels very well built. The cable is 15 centimeters in length, which is, I think is plenty to get everything connected. I like the way the ports are located, they're all facing one way, so when you're putting this somewhere on a desk and you're connecting your device, to you make your setup more cleaner, you can have all the cables going this way and going down off the table. One thing I noticed when I opened up and, uh, and took this off the box, it rattles a bit inside. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but basically it just makes a little movement inside. I don't feel that it's gonna affect the performance, but just something that I thought I will mention to you. Like I said, the small light, it's very easy uh, and compact to carry around. Um, it's gonna work without the power. What I mean, if I'm gonna connect everything up to my tele with my monitor, which I'm gonna show in a second, I'm gonna get 1080p resolution without the power and 1440p resolution with the power, but only on Galaxy Tab S6, but not Note 9. I will demonstrate that in a second as well. The ports, what we have, we have a power delivery port, full-size HDMI, two USB type A ports, which according to a specification at the back of the box, they are 3.0. At the back of USB hub, we have SD card and micro SD card reader. And like I said, this can work without the power. So when you're on a go and you're taking, let's say photos with your DSLR camera, you can easily put your SD card here and get the photos off your SD card using this USB-C hub to your Galaxy device. So let's get everything connected and I'll show you how it's all working. So first of all, I'm gonna connect without a power. So I'm just gonna take the HDMI cable, which I already plugged in into a monitor, and I will plug in my Note 9 uh, in this case and see how it's performing. So without using the power, my Note 9 detected that I do have HDMI connected to, to uh, this uh, Note 9. And as straight away as you can see, I'm getting 1080p resolution and DeX showing up without even me going to a setting that can tell you it is 1080p, but just, just to show it to you, I'm gonna go to Samsung DeX. I will go to display resolutions and I have two options to pick. I can pick 1920 by 1080 or 1600 by 900. Now let's change to a Tab S6. So I do have right now Galaxy Tab S6 connected to this USB-C hub and gonna see what kind of resolution I'm gonna, I expect 1080p resolution as well because it's just no power and obviously 1440p output will be very hard to do for Galaxy Tab S6. Whoa, it, it is 1440p resolution. So this hub gives me 1440p resolution without the power. You must be kidding me. Let's quickly go and check. Yes, it is 1440p. Oh well, I learned something new today. So you green hub without the power gives me 1440p resolution at maximum. So great. Uh, right now I'm gonna connect the power and do the both testings again. And same time I will test the power output through this hub to the Galaxy device using this USB-C power meter. For power, I'm gonna use a Samsung fast charger uh, wall socket brick and the USB-C cable. These, these two accessories arrived in the same box as my Note 9 and I'm gonna use them. Majority of you, you will have this with your Galaxy device anyway. So they are not like third party uh, for third party accessories or anything. So I do expect that you're gonna have them. So that's why I'm testing them, testing this USB-C hub with these accessories. So let's plug in this one in. So power is coming in. I will connect the USB-C power meter. I need to take my Note 9 off the case because this power meter just can't connect to Note 9 USB-C port because it's not long enough the actual connection at the end. So I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna see the power output at the moment. So Note 9 is charging and the power supplied to my Note 9 is 4.7 volts at 1.2 amps. And we are getting, we are getting 1080p resolution with the power. I expected this to be 1440p, but oh well, it's only 1080p with my Note 9. So we'll quickly go into a setting, Samsung DeX. Okay, settings crashed. Let's go back. Samsung DeX, uh, display resolution. And as you can see, we have an 1820 by 1080 recommended resolution or 1600 by 900 as a secondary option. So, and like I said, it's 4.7 volts and 1.2 amps coming 
as a power into the my Note 9. So let's grab my tab, Galaxy Tab S6. Let's connect that. The power is 4.7 at 1.4 amps, exactly the same as was supplied to Note 9. And let's check what kind of resolution I'm getting with this. Okay, so I'm getting a 1440p resolution without even checking the settings. So with the power or without the power, my Galaxy Tab S6 showing 1440p resolution, with the power or without the power, and Note 9 showing only 1080p. One more thing, um, while I was using this hub for, like I said, about four or five days, I was monitoring the temperature using this heat checking gun. And what I have found out that on extensive use, what I mean, uh, using this hub for my decks during my work day, which is around eight to nine hours, the temperature around the location where is the PR power delivery was going around 32, 32 and a half Celsius. Everywhere around was about 30, and a half to 31. So the actual ho hottest place on this USB-C hub while I was using for my DEX was around the peer power delivery port, which I did expect. One thing with this USB-C hub that is the same with my Galaxy Tab S6 or, Gal or Note 9 while I was testing is the app limit. And the app limit is five. If you don't know what app limit is, basically is how many apps you can open in the windowed mode on your decks before the oldest app will be will be killed. The certain hubs will give you five, other hubs will give you 10, 20, sorry, it's gonna give you 20. So for example, Ugreen, this USB-C hub, allows only five apps to be run in the window mode, where this Fitfort USB-C hub allows my Galaxy tablet to display 20 apps in the window mode. This is not a big deal, I would say, for the somebody who's using 1080p monitor resolution, because most of the time you're probably going to open the apps or certain apps in a window mode, no, sorry, in a full screen mode. But because I'm using ultra wide monitor and I can have one app running on the right hand side and another app running on the left hand side, when I'm having more than more apps running, the five limit is a bit of too low for me. I wish that Ugreen Air USB-C hub had app limit 20. Overall, this USB-C hub is a great device. I'm very happy about it. It's small, compact, easy to carry, not taking much space in my, my Samsung DeX bag. And I will use this as my main hub because this USB-C hub don't have the headphone jack. And by the way, it doesn't have the Ethernet port if you not noticed by now, but it doesn't have headphone jack. My main USB-C hub has a headphone jack, but something happened to that connection. And right now, every time that I'm connecting any Galaxy device to my Samsung DeX setup, it thinks that it has the headphone jack connected. And it's absolutely annoying me because every time I need to play a music or something, it's automatically reverts back to headphone jack, even if I'm changing that to be something else as an audio source, audio output, like a monitor or Bluetooth speakers. Once in a while, this back reverts back to headphone jack and it's annoying me. So I will ditch this Fitfort USB-C hub of 20 app limit to this Ugreen USB-C hub was only five apps limit, but it doesn't have the, US the headphone jack and I think it's just gonna work better for me. Okay, it's not gonna give me 1440p resolution on my Note 9, but to be honest, I don't really care because my Galaxy tablet is my main DeX device and Note 9 is more like a secondary, which I use very rarely just for testings, but Galaxy Tablet is my main device and I'm getting 1440p, so this USB-C hub is a perfect for me. If you wanna see more videos like this where I'm just testing the USB-C hub, checking how it's performing, power, temperature, is it has like five or 20 or 20 million app limits, how it's working, which resolutions you get, etc., etc. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. I planning to start doing these kind of videos with USB-C hubs, but I first would like to ask your opinion, what you think, if it's useful for you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.